someone is about to set the world on fire. And I am here to give you the exact story with no missing details. Welcome back to my YouTube channel where we talk about comics, anime, and stuff and stuff. Please hit the subscribe button. It helps me grow. Now let's get into it. We begin with a truck pulling up to Buckingham Palace. The truck is coming in in high velocity with no signs of stopping. The guards notice this truck and they respond in kind, but it was too late because as soon as the windows roll down, they are blasted full of holes and then they park, carrying the body of Sigurd himself. Then out steps Amon. One of the henchmen made it clear that the cameras were on, but Amon didn't care. He was in hiding. Matter of fact, he wanted them to know it was him. He just got on his knees and dropped a bloody sack in front of the palace and drove off with the note on Sigurd's body. We know. Inside Buckingham Palace, we see the butler giving the queen the news. The body of Sigurd was discovered on the gates with this note. As soon as she turns around, she knew that this was important. So she went to make a call on the hidden phones to the holders and the keepers because this was the body of one of their fallen and I'm pretty sure they'll want to hear about it. We're back at the base. We see Eva has finally returned and everybody pays their respect for the loss of Sigurd. But now was the time to look for a replacement because the secrets cannot be left without a keeper and a holder. There are some good options, but everyone knows Casper is meant to be a holder. And as soon as his name is mentioned, Eva loses her cool. No, he is too young. And Casper, being the master of stealth, was listening to this whole conversation without anyone figuring it out. Conversation went on with Eva making it clear that he is just 15, but the leader was 70 something. There was no excuse. Age was not an option. He was part of this order, so he has to do his duty. But before they could continue on, they are interrupted by a guard who carried a note. They have found Sigurd's body. So the ceremony was held. Every single world leader was at this ceremony. Presidents, queens, kings, governors, all of them just to pay respects to Sigurd. And Casper was chosen to give a talk. But when he did, he made it clear that, yes, he was his father. But they were not allowed to talk about that. Matter of fact, he didn't even know if his father liked him. When Eva heard this, she decided it was time to give him the parcel Sigurd left behind. Stepping into his room, they found the box. And inside that box was 15 items. 15 items for 15 birthdays he has missed. And that particular jacket that Casper loved. This was shocking because he didn't know his father knew he liked this jacket. After trying it on, Eva asked him if he could keep a secret and he said for sure, that's my job. And she told him, me and your father loved you. We loved you so freaking much. Kissing him on his forehead. This gave him enough boosting confidence to actually try out to be the holder of the seventh secret. And the test was pretty simple. Don't let go of the secret, no matter what. The test was pretty simple at first. No sleep, sensory deprivation, starvation, in darkness for days. Days went by, no food, no water. And it wasn't like they didn't offer them food, but none of them were taking it because they were not letting go of the secrets at all. They even dropped them on the mountainside in the freezing cold so they could bond for the express purpose of torturing them in the next trial. The torture would start and then stop once one person gives up their secrets, but at the end of the day, the bully just didn't care. <laughs> but at the pure sight of Casper about to be tortured, he just let go of his secrets because Casper was his man. And when Casper was supposed to watch another person get tortured, he just beat everyone's ass. I mean, with no remorse, he was buckled, but he beat everyone. And this guy was just 15 years. My goodness. The head guard said this was against the rules, but it really wasn't. There was no rule like this because nobody has ever done it. But one of the candidates decided to give up her secrets because she honestly didn't believe an organization to torture its members to prove loyalty. It was idiotic. So the finalists were decided, Casper and Titus. And the fight 
was quick. Casper stood a chance, but Titus was just too big. With one direct hit, Casper went flying into the river, but he was still holding his briefcase. He was still holding the seventh secret. And she smiled because Casper was worried that he was out. But she assured him he really wasn't because Titus, on the other hand, had dropped his case to celebrate. And because of this, he was out. Right now, you won, Casper. You are now the holder of the seventh secret. He asked him when he's going to get the real one, but he was holding the real one all this time. His mother had faith in him. But just before she could tell him how proud she was, they noticed a boat unattended to, with sounds coming off of it. Tick, tick, boom. She took her son out of the way. Amon and his seekers were here. It was pandemonium. The war had come to headquarters. They shouldn't know this place. Everywhere was on fire. Some people were stunned while others didn't even move. We see the leader of the organization make a command. If you can fight, fight. If you cannot fight, go hide. Because we are not letting them take this place. And she jumped into action. She was graceful with her kills. The training was never to apprehend anybody. All their moves were kill moves. Even the trainees were taking life. And it was amazing. And it was good because she hasn't fought in a long time. Casper wanted to join the fun, but he was a holder now. His job was to keep the secret safe. That means he has to run away anytime he sees a battle unfolding. Thankfully, Titus was there to protect him because even if he was a bully before, he was a stickler for the rules of this place. He wanted to be a holder with all of his heart. So he protected Casper. And can you protect the Casper from Amon? I promise you, you can't. Because instantly, Titus was slammed to the floor. Amon was such a badass. And the leader knew this because she realized that some of the Seekers had entered into the catacombs. So she had to go protect the Seven Secrets. Leaving Ava to drop cover fire. But inside the catacombs, we see Amon facing off against Casper. And Casper couldn't hold in his rage anymore. This was the man who took his father from him. He punched Mon so hard, he drew blood. And all this, Mon smiled. Yes, you are Casper. Your father was a fighter too. But before he could strike, the leader came bustling through, telling Casper to get behind her. Mon fell silent. She knew Mon, and Mon knew her. In the corner, we see Ava, ready to shoot. She had the shot. So she took it, but before Amon could be killed, the leader put out her hand and stopped the arrow. Ava was shocked. Everyone was shocked. But all Amon could say was, thanks, mom. That's right. The leader of this organization was Amon's mother. Amon simply looked to Casper and told him, we are the same. This place will discard you and use you as a weapon. You should join us rather than fight against us. He also revealed his diabolical plan that they were not only striking the headquarters, they were striking everywhere. Every single base they had all around the globe, protected by a holder and a keeper, was being attacked right now. But the leader, she didn't even falter. That is when Amon realized that this was her plan all along. Amon tried to call his soldiers to escape, but there was no escape. They were trapped. And then the machine guns came to play. She decimated all their forces all around the globe. Nobody was left to survive. This was a tremendous win, or so she thought, because Amon was smiling. He knew this was going to happen. Matter of fact, this was part of his plan. That is why he sent the weakest of their forces to go attack those places. So there wouldn't be a big loss if they are all killed. Sitting in the helicopter, he made it clear this was his victory. And his next move was going to be a big one.